Hey everyone, in this video I'll be showing you how to customize a mug for your favorite muggle in your life. This would be a great Christmas present and I'll be making some gingerbread hot chocolate as a bonus, so let's get started. So first, let's start with the mug. You will need some cotton balls, q-tips preferably the pointed tip kind, you'll need some rubbing alcohol or hand sanitizer, and of course you'll need some oil-based sharpies or paint pens, which is what I'm using. Start with the clean mug. Don't worry if you make a mistake, it's okay. Take a cotton ball dipped in rubbing alcohol or hand sanitizer and it'll wash it away and you can start over. Now of course the design is completely up to you, but I thought writing You're My Favorite Muggle would be the perfect Christmas gift idea for your favorite muggle in your life. And yeah, I, I drew a little Deathly Hallows Christmas tree inspired thingy down on the bottom and I thought it was so cute. Totally Christmas vibes coming from the mug. It's okay if your penmanship isn't that great. You can always clean up your lines with the pointed Q-tip dipped in rubbing alcohol. But again, it's a handmade Christmas gift and they're gonna love it either way because it's coming from you. Now on to some tips on making the mug. You are going to want to buy a cheaper mug because chances are the glaze on that mug is a lot thinner than buying an expensive mug which will have a thicker glaze and the markers will bake into the, the mug a lot better that way. But you can always turn up the temperature on your oven if you have a, a more expensive mug and a thicker glaze to the mug, if you get what I'm saying. Once you've drawn your design, let it dry completely and then go over it again with another coat with the marker. When you're done with that, let it dry completely for a few hours or even overnight. To bake your mug, do not preheat your oven. Put your mug inside the oven when it's cool, then turn your temperature to 350 degrees Fahrenheit and bake for 30 to 40 minutes. Once the time is up, turn off your oven, but do not take out your mug. Let it cool down completely inside the oven to prevent from cracking your mug. If you want to, you can repeat the baking process to really set in your design, but that's optional. Now I'm going to show you how to make some gingerbread hot chocolate that I made for my mom and I. You can always package the mix, the directions, and the little gingerbread man and stick it inside the mug if you're going to give it away for a Christmas gift or invite whoever it is over and make it for them yourself. By the way, I've made both hot and cold butter beers, so if you'd rather make that instead of this muggle drink, then I'll leave links to both those videos down below in the description box. It would also be really cute if you packaged the butterbeer sugar cookies that I made and stick it inside the mug, and I'll leave a link to that video down below in the description box as well. Combine 1 4th cup of cocoa powder, 2 tablespoons of brown sugar and white sugar, 1 4th teaspoon of ground cinnamon, 1 4th teaspoon of allspice, 1 4th teaspoon of ground ginger, and 1 8th teaspoon of sea salt and mix that together. In a medium saucepan over low heat, heat 2 cups of milk and 1 4th teaspoon of vanilla extract. Mix in the mixture until it's hot and all the ingredients are dissolved. Then you can go ahead and pour that into your mug and serve with whipped cream and you can sprinkle nutmeg or cinnamon or both on the whipped cream and then you can top it with a cute little gingerbread man. And that's it. I hope you guys get inspired to make your own personalized mugs for Christmas gifts or for yourself and I hope you guys try out this really yummy gingerbread hot chocolate recipe and yeah, I hope you guys like this video and thanks for watching.